Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Hey everybody, welcome back into Body Time. Harry McCullough here. Uh, disaster relief and recovery. It's something we know a lot about uh, down here on the Bayou for sure. And it's uh, something our guest knows a lot about as well. He's David Melonso, Thibodeau guy, uh, but program manager now for TDS, which stands for uh, Tool Bank Disaster Services. Right. And you work for uh, the New Orleans. You work in New Orleans now. But, but it's a big program that's down here. So... Uh, let's get familiar with your program. What is TDS? So Tool Bank in general, Tool Bank is a national nonprofit that provides tools for um, community-based groups. We provide tools, equipment, and expertise so that they can accomplish whatever their goals are. Uh, we work with nonprofit organizations, faith-based organizations, civic organizations, schools, universities. I mean, anybody that has some sort of charitable intent. And we provide tools that are used for construction, demolition, landscaping, cleaning. It's a way for nonprofits and, and other organizations to stretch their resources so that they don't have to go out and buy tools. We provide the tools, we store the tools, we repair the tools. And so we really act like a force multiplier, right? right. So that you can stretch yeah, like that. A rental house. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that you can stretch that money. Yeah. Um, part of what we do is also tool bank disaster services. Now, disaster services, obviously, we, you're right. We know a lot about that. Mm -hmm. We have worked with disaster disaster professionals and governmental organizations and said, when it comes to volunteers, what, what you know, how do tools play into this? Right. And what we found is that there are always going to be people that come. Oh, yeah. They don't necessarily come with the right tools. And so we're or able where to, to go nowhere nowhere where to go. go right. Yeah. And so we're able to bridge that gap. We have 17 mobile units that are located across the United States, pre-staged. They're filled with tools, uh, any kind of tools that you could use after a disaster. And we mobilize those units. Six days after Hurricane Ida, we were in Terrebonne Parish. Um, we were providing tools. We don't provide tools for individuals. We provide tools for groups, but we were loaning those tools um, to, to organizations, non to nonprofits, yeah. to faith-based organizations. Um, we had so several organizations. So you don't check it out like a library. I can't just come up and check out. No, a not jack no, right? no yeah. not individuals, right. not individuals, but organizations right, can right. absolutely. Gotcha. And really, the kind of like the proof of what we do is in the pudding. I mean, nationwide, we've had an incredible impact. $12.6 million was the value of tools that we loaned out. That's the retail value of the tool. So mm -hmm. if you were to borrow those tools, that's what it would have cost you. We equipped over 200,000, almost 201,000 volunteers across the country. So where it, were these disasters? Just so, all over? so this things? is this is not just disasters. This is across our tool bank network. But in disasters alone, it was seven hundred and eleven thousand dollars for disaster oh, right. tools that we provided. So Ida was and one of them. Ida was one. That, it's across the United States, right? Mm -hmm. We provided um, tools after the wildfires, for example. I got um, and they're still loaning tools there. We still have tools post Ida here in. Um, Terrebonne Parish. We have groups that are working in Terrebonne Parish that are still doing post-Ida relief, mm -hmm. and they're using our tools. We have folks on Grand Isle that are still using our tools as well. Um, here locally, more of a local impact, um, tool borrowing for uh, the New Orleans area. We gave away $272,000 worth of tools. We loaned almost $273,000 worth of tools, and we outfitted over 2,800 volunteers. That's the kind of impact that we can have mm -hmm. um, throughout the communities. So 
what I'm here today to do is to tell folks, not only after a disaster, we, we definitely will be here, here right. and we want to be here after a disaster, but we're also here as a resource for any kind of projects that these organizations may have. I had a, a church come down the other day. Um, they came down from Menominee, Wisconsin. <laughs> they flew down to New Orleans. They borrowed over $7,000 worth of tools. They went to a, a church in New Orleans. They helped to rebuild uh, the sanctuary of that church, returned the tools, went back to Menominee, Wisconsin. Didn't have to fly them down. Didn't have to fly right. them down. Yeah. On the other hand, I have one group that's from um, uptown New Orleans. They want five trash grabbers every, every month. That's all they want. And that's what we're there to do is to provide that information and, and those resources for them. So y'all build and change, uh, and, and and we were talking, so if a convention group comes into New Orleans, they may go, hey, we need to give a social awareness day. I can contact you and go do this. Could be a convention group, could be uh, uh, a local employer who wants to have some sort of uh, team building exercise for their group. Um, the end product is picnic tables, and those picnic tables then live on within the community. So there is a cost involved in that, um, but it's something that yeah, lives on, sure. and you get a great experience oh, out yeah. of it, too. Team building's a big deal. Absolutely. Look at your locations. You're in New Orleans. We are in New Orleans. Fort Myers, that's pretty obvious. If the hurricane uh, that, that was ours was Ida, there was... Uh, um, I, Ian. Yeah, Ian. Yeah, I knew it was yes, three letters. Yes, too. Sacramento, yes. Cal California. Because of the wildfires. wildfires. Puerto, Rico, Puerto Rico, because of hurricanes. Tampa, uh, Tampa exactly. Dallas. Denver, we just opened that location. So we have locations all across the country. I encourage people to go to our website, toolbank.org, to learn more about tool bank, about what it is we do, how we can work with them. Um, and you can also find can all of my, out, I'm sure, absolutely. Right? And we can find all of my contact information there as well. Yeah. So you're back, you're, you're like I say, you're a Thibodeau guy, but you're in New Orleans now. Uh, yes. And I commute back and forth to New Orleans. <laughs> I live in Thibodeau, but I love New Orleans and I commute back and forth. Uh, and that's a great way. What's your website again? Toolbank.org. Dot org. So uh, go there, check it out. Uh, it's a great idea, and uh, it's man, thanks for being in our community. For sure. Time. Absolutely. Right. My Mullins. pleasure. Thanks Thank, for having me. Thanks so much. We'll be right back with more Bayou Time right after this.